hope you are doing good over there. I am Dirtesh. You are, you are watching Tech Mania you know all over the knowledge. So today in this class, let us deal with some concepts of Boolean algebra. So first, let us deal what is this demoralization de rule. So what is the demoralization de uh, rule says? A demoralization rule says that if a sum x and y x plus y, its complement is equals to product of their individual component. Product of their individual component. If uh, the if the product of the uh, product of the value x into y bar is equals to x bar plus y bar. So this is demoralization rule, one of the major important rule in the uh, world of Boolean algebra, Boolean expression, or we can also say this uh, Boolean theorems. So now let us learn what is this demoralization rule. So this here we say first point in demoralization rule we say that. Uh, we should complement complement each each variables each state variable next is we should change or symbol or symbol to ein symbol ein symbol next third one we should change ein symbol to or symbol next fourth point complement individually complement individually so this is demoralization demoralization this is called as a demoralization So let us take some examples for this. So like a b plus a plus a b. So what we should do first? First we say complement entire element. So first we should complement entire thing. Next what we should do? We should change i symbol to or symbol. So let us complement a b bar into a bar into a b. Next. Complement individually. So let us complement individually. A double bar A B into A double bar into A B bar. So now again what we should do? We should uh, we should uh, complement or change the symbol now. So A B double bar into A double bar into A bar plus B bar. So now we should apply distribution theorem over here. How do I apply distribution theorem? So for before that, let us uh, use involution. So involution says x double bar is equals to x. So a double bar is equals a b double bar is equals to a b. Okay, into a bar double bar is equals a into a bar plus b bar. So now let us multiply this. So a b a into a bar plus a b a bar a a b into a plus b bar. So let us arrange this. So a a bar a b plus a a b into b bar. So we know that a into a bar is zero into b plus a b into b bar is zero into a. So anything if you multiply by zero is uh, a is zero. And if you multiply by zero is zero. So this is how we apply demonetization rule. For the theorem. So why is this? Uh, for you have you all guys have all the questions. So why is this uh, saying demoralization rule? What is the use of the demoralization? Why we require this? So first and foremost, this demoralization rule is used to implement implement the uh, gates over or to derive different gates. Different gates. Say for example, NAND or NOR. NOR. This also be used to work with, work on, work with Boolean, Boolean expression. So this is used to work with Boolean expression. Third is, it is used to uh, perform an operation used to perform perform operation 
on gates last is we all we can also apply it using the duality theorem duality theorem we used to apply the duality theorem so when we, why, why we should implement because we are going to work on uh, digital electrics so when we say digital electrics in your system a microcontroller or microprocessor will come in a picture so where a microcontroller will come which provides which helps you to work on complete activity of the system so this microcontroller is been designed using a using this demolition rule itself so here to solve the different kinds of expressions also we use the demolition rule and also to perform some entities also we use the demolition rule and a duality theorem to work a duality theorem we use a demolition rule so next so i hope you this is what the demolition rule says so hope you understood this so next we have co concept called as a literal so what is a literal a literal is a single variable the single variable variable or compound statement compound statement so what is the literal then x is a single statement then we say it is as a literal x plus y is the compound statement combination of both x and y this is also literal so this is called as a literal understood so hope you understood about literal a literal is a single statement or a compound statement when we speak a with the literals in a literal we have two kinds of things two terms it we give give a representation of terms so what is the term there are two types of terms one is min term one is min term and other one is max a min term is always called as the product product of boolean expression max term is called as the sum of the boolean expression so when i say about min term a min term looks like x into y but max term looks like into z max term looks like x plus y plus z so here when i say a min term your value will represent zero when i say max term value will represent one clear so this is min term and max term a min term always says that it is a a min term means it says that uh, it is a product of all the literals within the logical system max term is sum of all the literals within the logical system so that that is called as a min term and max term so you can see this is the product of logical system and here this is sum of logical system this is called as min term and max term so we have we also have a canonical expression so a canonical expression means a uh, expression a canonical expression when boolean expression represents both min term and max term boolean expression has both min term and max term those expressions is called as canonical and a as canonical expression so sometimes we will never have only a product min term like x y or x z it may have a combination of x plus y or x y plus y z so together a combination or expression combination of the expression is called as a canonical format in a canonical format we have two types one is sum of product and product of sum what is the sum of product a sum of product means when we have a a sum of product means when a boolean expression is represent purely in a min terms when a boolean expression is represented purely in min terms purely in min terms right xy plus yz plus xz these kinds of expressions are called as a sum of product or sop when a boolean expression when a boolean expression expression is completely written in a max term then it is called as product of sum so product of sum of product means when a boolean expression is completely written in a 
मीन टर्म एक्सप्रेशन मीन कंप्लीटली एक्सप्रेशन मीन टर्म दैट इट इज फॉर सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट व्हेन अ बोलियन एक्सप्रेशन इज कंप्लीटली रिप्रेजेंट इन अ मैक्स टर्म कंप्लीट रिप्रेजेंट मैक्स टर्म दैट इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम हियर व्हेन आई से सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स सो व्हेन आई से सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स इट मींस दैट हियर सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मींस एक्स प्लस एक्स वाई प्लस वाई जेड प्लस एक्स जेड सो व्हेन आई से अ सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट हियर we can say sigma means it is a sum of product here always the input will be 1 and we are going to neglect a plus a bar that is called sum of product always the sum of product is represented by sigma then here to mention a sum of product we use m small letter now max term as x y x plus y into y plus z plus z plus x This is a max term. A max term is always represented by pi. I the input value will be zero. Then we are going to neglect a into a bar. Neglect a into a bar. So anyhow we know a plus a bar, a plus a bar is one, a into a bar is zero. For that reason we are going to neglect so here. So this is what a canonical expression. There are two types of canonical expression. One is sum of product and product of sum. Let us come in detail in next class, next videos. So now let us solve the sum, one single sum for mean term. So let us solve a single sum for mean term. So how do we represent a mean term as? So let us take an example as x plus y. Clear? So uh, first what we should check, we should should check which is the missing character over here. Here y is missing, here x is missing. So what we do? We should uh, we should multiply the missing part. How we multiply x into y plus y bar? So y means we say x means x into one plus y into one. So how does one get one get from x plus x bar? Okay. So what is missing here? Y is missing. So x into y plus y bar plus y into x plus x bar. Clear? Now what we should do? We should apply the distribution law. So how do we apply the distribution law? X y plus x y bar plus x y plus uh, x bar y. So now we see uh, here we have an important law. What is the important law? Say x plus x is equal to x. So once we can write x y plus x y bar plus x bar y. So this is the Uh, mean term. We converted this into mean term. So this is how we are going to convert the expression into mean term. So hope you understood this video. So this is this is what we did in this class. So uh, next for next, let us continue in next class. Thank you.